Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Sega Genesis games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up the Play Store and we're going to be installing two apps. The first of these is going to be RetroArch. This is 100% free and it's the first app we're going to be using in today's video. This is going to be a multi emulator that we're going to be setting up a little bit later on to be able to play Genesis games. So the first thing you want to do is get this installed. The second app you're going to need to download and install is another free app called C Archiver. Again, links and everything in the description down below. This is a great app used for extraction and compression. We're going to be using it for our games a little bit later on. So what you need to do is get both of these installed. Once both of these apps are installed, we're going to be opening up RetroArch. And if this is your first time opening the app, you are going to have to allow it access to your phone storage. From this point, what we're going to be doing is clicking the load core option at the very top. And here we'll see a list of all downloaded cores on our Android device. What we're going to be doing is scrolling down to the very bottom and we're going to be looking for the download a core option right here. We're going to be clicking this open and then we're going to be scrolling all the way down until we see the Sega-MS-GG-MD-CD and then in brackets Genesis plus GX. We're going to be clicking this which is going to download and install this core. Some text will appear at the bottom and then when the text disappears our core will be installed. Now I will mention there's a couple of different Genesis cores here. You can see anything with a GG in it will typically be for Genesis and I would recommend experimenting with the different cores depending on your game you're playing or if one particular core or game is giving you issues. I'd recommend trying it out with a different core so you can see if another core gives you more success or less than another. For today's video we're going to be focusing on the Genesis Plus GX core however there is other cores available here if you need to experiment. Once your core is installed we're going to be clicking back on the top left Left. We're then going to be clicking the load core option one more time and we're going to be selecting the core you just downloaded which in this case is right here for me. Simply click it and you'll know your core is loaded if the text appears at the top left as you can see right now. And now we're ready to go over and talk about games. So in this case I'm going to be using Z Archiver to locate to where your games are downloaded. In this case I have my games in my Genesis folder right here and I currently have Aladdin in a Zot zip file. Now so in this case I will mention extracting the games is optional. However it is something I always suggest doing just to be on the safe side. For the selected core in today's video you actually don't have to extract your games however i will show you the process in today's video just in case you need to do it for some games in case they won't load or they're giving you issues you simply need to select your game you then have the option to extract here if you'd like to extract the game in its current location or extract dot 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 if you would like to choose where to extract your game in this case i have this folder specifically for sega genesis games so i'm simply going to click extract here and my game will extract out into a dot bin and a readme file in this case the dot bin file is what we're looking for for genesis and once you have this, we're ready to jump back over to RetroArch. Once you're back in RetroArch, what we're going to be doing is clicking on the load content option right here. And then you're going to locate to where you just extracted your games. Now, I will also mention right now, I'm not going to be showing you in today's video where to download games. Although games are really, really easy to find, a quick Google search will help you out. And once your game is downloaded and extracted, what we're going to do is jumping back over to RetroArch. Once you're in RetroArch, we're going to be making sure we're on the home button by clicking the bottom left. We're then going to be clicking on the load content option right here. And then you want to locate to where your games are downloaded. I'm going to be selecting my file. In this case, if you have multiple cores that support this one file type, you will have to select your core again. So if you have multiple cores that will support this file format, you'll then have to select your core again, depending on what you're using. In this case, I'm simply going to be selecting the Genesis Plus GX core one more time. And in this case, just like that, my game will load up without any issues. Now, depending on your phone, you may have different success and frame rate with the games. Although this is a pretty old console, so I'd imagine most Android devices will be able to handle this without too much issues. However, if you are having any issues with the game or even loading the game up, selecting the game, I would recommend trying out the different cores to see if that solves your issue. I do also want to mention that you can actually run games from .zips. However, for best practice, I always recommend extracting games like I did in this video. So that should work just fine for you. Now, one other thing I would recommend doing is connecting up an external controller to RetroArch. I'm not going to be showing you how to do that in today's video. However, I have a previous video showing you how to do that. In my opinion, it always improves the gaming experience and I'll be leaving links in the description on videos how to do that. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to play sega genesis games on your android device if you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel i'm going to be leaving a link down below to my paypal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace